Welcome back everyone, this is your Tuesday, January 5th, second stimulus check and second stimulus package update and news report for today. We have so much to cover, some news regarding stimulus checks, unemployment benefits, some recent discussions and talks from Joe Biden and other officials, and of course the all-important Georgia Senate runoff races happening tonight. You all want to watch very carefully to see what happens. This will determine not only the fate of stimulus, but Joe Biden's presidency as a whole for the next two, four, or however many years he wants to serve. So definitely several things to cover in this update. If you have been enjoying my videos, you have been enjoying my content, you appreciate the output, you appreciate the effort that I put out for you guys every single solitary day. Sometimes I do multiple videos a day, just like I did today. I did two videos in one day just for you guys, all free. I don't charge anything to watch my channel. Show your support by smashing that like button give the video a big thumbs up turn that like button blue also be sure that you are subscribed become a subscriber if you haven't already hit that big red button the subscribe button also the notification bell as well that will notify you every single solitary time i do post a brand new video and if you're feeling extra generous for the new year you can share my videos with a friend share this video with a family member a friend someone that you think will get value out of this information so with literally just a couple weeks left in the trump presidency what is biden saying now about stimulus in regards to the georgia runoff races so the looming questions are still will we see a third stimulus check or was this one the final one? And if we do see a third one, how much is it going to be for? Well, according to President-elect Joe Biden, if Democrats John Ossoff and Reverend Raphael Warnock, which are the challengers up against Purdue and Loeffler tonight in today's Georgia runoff elections, then $2,000 checks will go out the door. And he made this statement during a campaign event for Ossoff and Warnock in Atlanta on Monday. And it is the strongest indication yet that Biden will push for a third stimulus check after his inauguration. It was just days ago that Senate Republicans blocked the vote on the CASH Act that was passed in the House of Representatives, the CASH CASH Act, that would have amended the $600 stimulus checks to be increased to $2,000. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell blocked the vote on this bill. It didn't even get a vote in the Senate. And he called it socialism for the rich because it would have authorized payments to wealthy people who weren't impacted by the pandemic instead of only targeting people in need. But if Azov and Warnock win tonight, if they take those seats, turn them blue, flip them Democrat tonight, this is going down, then Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will no longer have the authority. He will no longer be Senate Majority Leader. It'll be Majority Democrat. I assume it's going to be Minority Leader Chuck Schumer who would be the Senate Majority. And McConnell will no longer have that authority. He will not be able to say which bills get a vote and which don't. So that's going to be very beneficial for stimulus. Democrats would have control of the House. They would have control of the Senate. And they'd, of course, have the White House after Biden's inauguration on the 20th. And then a third stimulus check is nearly almost certain. But to appeal to voters, Senators Perdue and Loeffler, knowing that they're slipping in the polls, they had to tell voters that they're in favor of $2,000 stimulus checks and back the president. So they did say that they would be in favor of $2,000 stimulus checks. So if miraculously we do see a vote in the Senate and a vote can come up for a $2,000 stimulus check, it has a fairly good shot of passing the Senate. But shifting to the present day stimulus checks, the current stimulus checks, the $600 checks have been started to send out to millions and millions of Americans via direct deposit. And also the paper checks have also been starting to send out in the mail. Let me know down below if you have received your stimulus checks yet. But in addition to stimulus, at least 11 states out of the United States have started to send out the $300 supplemental unemployment benefits that were passed under the recent stimulus bill, the $900 billion stimulus bill. The $300 has started to go out in certain states. If you're not a part of those 11 states, good news is that majority of states, most states, should be up and running and sending out those $300 benefits during the middle of the month. According to a senior policy analyst at the National Employment Law Project, they had told Yahoo Money, that, quote, largely states will be up and running by mid-January. There will probably be a couple outliers that don't get it up for like three weeks, but I think three weeks is really the outside number. What are these states? Well, states such as Arizona, California, New York, and North Carolina are sending out the extra benefit this week. So you will see them as part of your state benefits this benefit week. Jobless Americans will get that extra $300 as part of the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation, or the FPUC, for 11 weeks through March 14th. Both Workers on Unemployment Insurance, or UI, and Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, or PUA, for gig workers and self-contractors, will get the extra payment added to their core weekly unemployment benefits. Now, if you do live in New York, I'm in New York, let me know down below in the comments where are my New Yorkers at. 
New York has started to pay out the $300 extra benefit to unemployment recipients under all of the programs, whereas California has only begun paying the benefits to those on regular UI and not yet to jobless workers who receive PUA and PEUC. So only regular UI under California has started to receive the $300 benefits. According to a statement from California's Employment Development Department, around 1.3 million Californians will get the extra benefit this week alone, while the rest of the benefits will be distributed, quote, as soon as the revised programming is in place. Now, very important because under the CARES Act, the unemployment benefits, the supplemental federal unemployment benefits were retroactive. For this specific stimulus package, the unemployment benefits are not retroactive, but will rather be from the start week of December 27th. So you're not going to be receiving all the weeks back that you have not received unemployment. You're not going to be receiving all the way back to August, for example, when LWA was signed. You're not going to get all those weeks in one shot. Now, looking back at the LWA program, which Trump initiated in August with his executive order or executive memorandum, some of those benefits were quickly distributed in some states, but in some states like Nevada, Virginia, and Wisconsin, it took more than two months to implement the program, and the process should not take more than three weeks this time around because the LWA program was harder to implement. Now, under this new stimulus bill, it created a miscellaneous group of people called mixed income earners. These are people that earn from their employer as well as their own self-employment income. So under this new legislation, the mixed income earners who get income from both traditional and self-employment sources, now qualify for an extra $100 in benefits on top of their $300, so $400 in total. But it is unknown whether states have begun paying that extra amount, which is harder to program and require additional documentation. In fact, according to that same analyst, quote, it's really unlikely they're paying the extra $100. They have to figure out how to get that information from people, which makes total sense because it's hard enough to implement the federal $300, let alone now trying to get documentation from people to prove that they have both income sources. Now to qualify for that benefit, workers would have to be making at least $5,000 in qualifying self-employment income annually, but it is yet unclear how states will accept the new documentation. According to this analyst, the extra $100 will be available until March 14th. And some additional news, if you happen to use H&R Block, if you happen to be an H&R Block customer, let me know down below in the comments because you might have not seen your stimulus payment yet. According to reports, some customers of h and Block reported that their stimulus payments have yet to show up in their bank accounts and that the tax preparer is to blame. A multitude of customers have complained and reached out regarding their stimulus payments and how they're being deposited in accounts they do not recognize. h and Block said that those were only temporary accounts linked to customers' 2019 returns. According to the tax preparer, Quote, the IRS Get My Payment website may display an account number you do not recognize. If you took a refund transfer, it may be reflecting that account number. Check your 2019 return to confirm. But don't worry, we have sent these payments onto the method you chose for a refund transfer, direct deposit, check, or emerald card. The money should be there by the end of the day. So on Monday, the company said to its customer that the money should be there by the end of the day. But as of Tuesday morning, and they're still investigating what happened, customers have complained that the payments have yet to show up. h and Block did say in a news release dated January 4th that some payments would be sent back to the IRS in some cases. They had said, quote, all financial institutions are required to return second stimulus payments in certain circumstances, such as when they are sent to a closed account. In these cases, payments were returned to the IRS, and a check is likely to be sent by the IRS. This affected less than 1% of second stimulus payments processed by H&R Block. Just important to note because I know H&R Block is a very substantial company, a big tax preparer. So if you are a customer of them, let me know down below in the comments if you're still working out to get your stimulus payment issue resolved or if you have received your stimulus check yet. I'm curious to hear. Let me know down below. So ideally, we would find out the winners of the races tonight, the Georgia runoff races. If we do not find out tonight, I'll be sure to update you guys in tomorrow's video. But I think this will be much more easy and a lot more swift of an election than election day 2020 for example which it was not election day it was election week election month because of how long it took to find out the winner if you are a resident of georgia go out and vote so important to exercise your right to vote this is quite possibly one of the most critical senate races in the history of the united states so do go out and vote more updates and developments are to come if you did enjoy this video as always give it a big thumbs up smash the like button and if you want to see more videos from my channel hit that big red button the subscribe button also the notification bell as well Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video.